Hi, my name is Jennifer Pia. I'm a nurse practitioner student at Maryville University. This is my ID. And I'm gonna do a 360 of the room real quick. Hi, today I'm gonna to be doing my neurological assessment. This is my patient. Um, we're gonna start off with cranial nerves number one through 12. The first cranial nerve is olfactory nerve where we test the sense of smell. Um, and because of time um, constraints, we're just we're not going to physically do it, but it's just um, testing the patient's um, ability to um, differentiate from uh, different smells. The next uh, cranial nerve is the optic nerve, in which we um, are just assessing the patient's near and far vision. And we'll also be um, looking at the patient's um, optic disc. Um, and just checking for venous patterns and the optic disc there. Um, uh, the next nerve, uh, cranial nerve number three, four, and six uh, are the oculomotor, the abducens, and the, the, the oculomotor, the trochlear, and the abducens, respectively. And um, with those nerves, we're going to be assessing the eyes, eyelids for any possible drooping. We're also going to um, be assessing the um, pupil pupils for their response to light. I just need you to look forward for me. Okay, good. And we're also going to assess the patient's um, six cardinal fields of gaze. And with this, we're going to be um, assessing for any astigmatism. I just need you to follow the pin without moving your hand. Just mo mo um, follow it with your eyes. <clears throat> Um, and that's uh, cranial nerves number three, four, and six. The cranial nerve number five, the trigeminal nerve, um, we're going to be assessing for um, atrophy in the face. Um, and we'll also be assessing um, the uh, muscle, muscle tone in the face as well. Just clench your jaw for me. Okay, very good. And uh, with this, we're also going to be assessing the patient's um, uh, perception for their um, sense of uh, if they can differentiate between sharp and dull uh, pain um, on the chin, the cheek, and the, um, the scalp. And because of uh, time constraints, we're not going to do that right now, but that's, that would be the uh, trigeminal nerve. Um, for the uh, cranial nerve number seven, which is the facial nerve, we're going to be um, assessing um, the patient's face for um, symmetry. We're going to ask the patient to puff out their cheeks and smile, frown, um, and with those we're just checking for a symmetry in the face and making sure that there's a symmetrical. We're also going to be, um, we can also with this nerve assess their um, taste, this um, sweet and salty at the front of the tongue. We can um, assess that as well. Um, uh, cranial nerve number eight is the acoustic nerve and that nerve we're going to be um, testing the patient's um, hearing. Um, I'm going to do the Weber test and with this test we're just going to ask the patient if they hear equally in both ears or one ear, louder in one ear. It's not over here I think. Okay, all right and with this acoustic nerve we'll also do the whisper test and we could also um, do the Rene test as well, which is the, um, the air, the difference between air and bone conduction. Of course, air conduction should always be, will be longer than the bone conduction. Um, the next nerve is cranial nerve number nine, the glossopharyngeal nerve. We're going to assess the patient's ability to swallow, have them drink some water, um, and just assess their swallowing. And also, this is where we can also check the, um, taste buds in the back of the tongue, um, the bitter and the sour taste buds. Cranial nerve number 10, I'm sorry, is the vagus nerve. We're gonna the, check the patient's gag reflex. We just take a, um, a tongue blade and put it in the, to the back of the patient's throat to elicit that gag reflex. Um, cranial nerve number nine is the, um, the spinal accessory nerve. Um, and we're gonna push down on the patient's shoulders. I'm gonna ask you to shrug your shoulders, okay? And that's that nerve, and the cranial nerve number 12 is the um, hypoglossal nerve, 
And with this nerve, we're just going to assess the tongue and the mouth. So I'm going to have the patient stick their tongue out, move it side to side, up and down. Okay. And um, just take a quick look in there. Ah, say ah. Ah. Good. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do next is um, assess the cerebellar function and proprioception. I'm going to assess the patient's um, fine motor and um, um, <clears throat> fine motor skills. So I'm going to have you put your hands on your lap and okay. So this is assessing fine motor skills and their coordination. So also with this heel, I'm going to have you rub your chin up and down. Okay. And you can stop there. And of course, I would have him do it with both just to test both sides. Um, the next one I'm going to do is um, see if he can um, tell me where he feels the vibration on his body. And they should be able to um, tell me where that is. Hello, guys. Finger. Okay, good. All right. And of course, you would do that to um, different extremities just to, um, you know, um, compare. You can close your eyes again, and I'm going to ask the patient for um, position, too. So I'm going to hold your hand up and just tell me where, up or down? Down. Okay. All right. And for your toe, let me know up or down. Up. Okay, good. All right. So um, just showing um, different position and everything there. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is to um, assess as a sensory function. Sensory function, we'll do the same thing that we would have done on the face. Take a sharp object and a soft object, and I'm going to touch the patient in different um, areas with the patient's eyes closed, and they should be able to let me know where on the body they're being touched and if it's soft or sharp. All right. Um, the next thing with the sensory function, we're also going to be, um, the patient should also be able to let me know if I put an object in their hand, what the object is. I'm going to put this object in your hand. Just close your eyes and let me know what that is. Sharp, like a toothpick. Okay, good. All right. And um, the next thing, I'm going to just um, draw a, a number in the patient's hand, and they should be able to tell me what that is. an eight an eight okay <laughs> so they should be able to tell me what that number is or the letter or something so um, next thing we're gonna do is assess the reflexes for the uh, patient and we're gonna do the suit we could do superficial reflexes for demonstration purposes I'm not gonna do that but that'll be right around the umbilicus and it'll elicit the abdominal reflex um, the other reflex is the um, the plantar reflex okay and with this we're gonna come up here <laughs> yep, and the patient has a plantar reflex, so you want to make sure that the the there is um that you have a plantar reflex. You don't want it to to flat uh, dorsiflex or anything like that because that would be a negative response. Um, next, I'm going to go into deep tendon reflexes and the bicep. Just relax your arm for me. Okay, and then the tricep. Relax. Just relax your arm. Let your arm fall on me. Okay. Relax. You relax? Mm -hmm. It feels like you're holding it. Yeah, you're. Yeah. Relax. <laughs> okay, that's the tricep. And then the patellar. Okay. The Achilles. And the brachioradialis. Okay, and um, I believe that is the end of my neurological assessment. Thank you.